the color pumpkin from Red Heart Super Saver. I am also using this brown color, um, Cafe Latte, also um, by Red Heart Super Saver, another worsted weight yarn. You're also going to need a little bit of polyfill. If not, you could always use like um, scraps of yarn that you may have laying around, but I'm gonna be using this polyfill. And for today's hook, I'm going to be using this uh, F hook. This is also a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. And this is my great grandmother's crochet hook that I was fortunately blessed um, with when she passed on. So I'm gonna be using it today because um, I really love using my grandma's old crochet hooks. It just brings back so many memories of her. So I'm gonna be using it today. You also want a thick yarn needle to weave in those odds and ends. And you're also going to need some scissors to cut off the odds and ends. These are Fiskars if anybody wants to know. We're going to be making the pumpkin that's going to be going on top of um, our hat. We're going to begin with a slip knot. We're going to chain 12. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. We now have twelve chains and I'm just going to turn my work. So we're working in the back loops right here. You don't have to do this. This is uh, completely optional. Some people like to work the basic chain but I like to work the back chain because I feel like it leaves a cleaner slate. I'm going to work one half double crochet into the second chain from the hook but in the back side if you flip your work it should be like right there and I'm gonna go inside and work a half double crochet. That's our first half double crochet and for row one we're just going to put one half double crochet across until we get to the end. We are ending row one and we are going to chain up one and we are going to turn our work. From row two all the way until the end of row 16, we're going to repeat this by putting a chain up one and then we're going to put one half double crochet into that same stitch, right? because this chain one isn't going to count as anything and we're going to work in those back loops if you turn them you can see them we're going to be putting one half double crochet across but in those back loops only I just came to the end of row two and we're going to continue to work from row two all the way to the end of row 16 just working like that with the chain one and a one half double crochet into the same stitch and then one half double crochet across into every single stitch when I come to the end of row 16 we'll come back and finish our pumpkin so I've come to the end of row 16 and I just wanted to show you guys what my work is looking like so in case anybody wants to know, my work measures seven inches long. Okay, so what we're going to do is fold our work and we're going to slip stitch to the very first stitch on the other side of row one here and slip stitch to join. And then we're going to chain up one and you can either slip stitch, you can single crochet, you can half double crochet, which is what I'm going to do. But you could do this any way you want. 
I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to be working in these back loops only to join. So if you turn your work, you can see the back loop right there. I'm going to go in with the half double crochet into the very first stitch that we worked into and work a half double crochet. And then I'm gonna turn my work again, get into that back loop again, connecting to the other side. You wanna make sure that you're going into the right loops. So there's two. All right, after you've joined your work, this is what it's going to look like. And I'm gonna go around doing a single crochet two together stitch which is basically a single crochet decrease so wherever you could find a chain to work into just go ahead and go in there and the next stitch after just decrease together it would be kind of hard to work into because of the stitches being so tight And then just jump here. And then the next stitch after. Okay, I've come to the last decrease and I'm gonna chain one and count how many I have. I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six. And I have seven stitches left. We want to finish off our work. We're going to leave a really long tail here. Okay, to do the invisible finish off method, here is our last stitch and here is our first stitch right here. We're gonna go into the second stitch of our round, go through there, pull the yarn through, And we're gonna pull that shut and then I'm gonna put my needle through the back of the back loop of the last stitch that we worked into see we're just gonna pull that shut and then I'm gonna go through these stitches right here to hide my yarn So we're going to pull that shut and it's going to pull this closed right here. So you're just going to go around and weaving your needle through the loops. And you do not want to finish off this yarn yet. You want to hold on to this because we're going to use this yarn later. So do not finish it off. What you want to do is take your fiber fill or whatever you're filling your pumpkin with and stuff it. How much you want to stuff it is really optional and customizable. I stuffed mine pretty well. Okay, so now that we've stuffed it, so we're going to find the 16th row where we joined our work and we're going to go through those loops we're going to close our work and what I did was we want to close the pumpkin now I'm going to go through every other stitch so I'm going to go here and then here and then pull that shut and I'm going to go through basically all of the decrease stitches and weave it through just like that. Right, now that we've closed up both ends, you're going to leave your yarn really long because we're going to use this later to attach so do not finish it off whatever you do and now we're going to begin the stem on top of the pumpkin all right we're going to be taking our brown yarn and we're going to join it to 
the top of the pumpkin. So your yarn's here. You want to go to the the opposite side right here. So you guys see where your yarn tail is? This is the bottom of the pumpkin. This is going to be the top of the pumpkin. We're going to join our yarn to the center. Taking that brown color. And we're going to chain up one. This is going to be the hardest part of the tutorial because this was a challenge for me just making this, but you guys can do it. I mean, this is pretty easy. Um, if you're, you're familiar with making um, amigurumi, if I said that right. If you're not, it's still easy. You can pretty much just put the hook wherever you can. But basically, we're going to try to put uh, five single crochets around. So I'm going to go back into the next stitch, crocheting over our yarn. So we're going to put a single crochet, that's stitch number two, turning our work. We're going to go into the next stitch, which is stitch number three. Okay, and then we're going to go around, find another stitch, going inside, that's stitch number four. And then the last stitch is going to be right here. And that's going to be stitch number five. And then we're going to slip stitch to join to the very first single crochet we made, which is right here. We're going to chain up one. And then we're going to work a single crochet into the same stitch. This is row number two. There's one. There's three, there's four, and here is our last stitch, which is the fifth stitch. And then we're going to slip stitch to join to the very first single crochet for the end of round two. So slip stitch to join to that first single crochet. And now we're going to chain up one and then put one single crochet into the same stitch and then put one single crochet around. And we should have five single crochets. Two. Okay, so we're just going to slip stitch and then finish off and our pumpkin's done. now we can weave in the ends of the pumpkin stem. All right, you guys, this is what our pumpkin looks like. And I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm going to make my hat off camera because I already posted a tutorial on this hat. So basically what you want to do after this is just make the base of the hat. The base of the hat is basically the hat that I made for my devil series for my Halloween series you're going to want to make that hat and come back so you can see how I attached the pumpkin to the hat and that's pretty much it this hat is really easy to make so I'm going to make my hat off camera and I'm going to show you guys what to do next all right guys so we're going to be putting the pumpkin on top of the hat and you want to leave a really decent long tail because there's going to be a lot of sewing. I'm not going to full on show you like a 10 minute extra video showing you how to sew this on. Because what you're just going to do 
is basically whip stitch right here where we closed up right here and we're going to go in a circle around the hat and attach it that way so what I did was I went through one of the stitches here on the bottom Pull it through. And then pull that through. And you want to keep sewing this approximately four to five times around in a circle on the bottom of the hat just to ensure that this stays secure and I'm also going to show you another tip for keeping this hat secure especially if you're going to go to like the Halloween parade or you have a dog that likes to try to take um, the hat off so then that way this doesn't go flying off so I'm going to show you guys in just in a minute how to secure it all right, once we've secured it and knotted it on the bottom, you can um, clip it off. After I have sewn on my pumpkin onto the hat, I'm going to use this Fabric Fusion Quick Dry Glue. By the way, using glue is 100% um, optional. You don't have to do this, but if you're going to take this out and about and have your pet wearing this for a really long time, I would highly suggest using this. Here on the bottom of the fabric. And just go right around the bottom where nobody can see it. I'm going to lay that down and I'm going to press the pumpkin down firmly and hold it there. For about a minute all right my glue has dried and I just wanted to show you the final product and show you guys the hat 